In this video, I drive all manner of strange things. Most of them are very noisy. I am in a supermarket car park with the mighty Dacia and Tuk and a Nissan Cherry Europe. Good times. Oh, and a Nissan Prairie, owned by the same person who owns that one. That's, that's um, splendid. And a beige metro. And Volvos and Dats and Cherries. Hi. And that's, that's the bus owner. He Hi. owns the big yellow bus. And uh, yeah. And a different bus today. Yeah. Best day ever. Just before we set off from the supermarket car park of dreams, Tuk has clocked up her 29,000th mile. Well done, Tuk. I've got a random bit of sticker on the windscreen that I haven't earlier. So let's have a very quick run along the lineup. Uh, we've got this splendid camper, which belongs to Zell, who owns the Spares Invercar. Um, so we were having a look at that in a previous video, possibly. Uh, lovely Datsun Cherry Estate. Um, lovely Nissan Prairie. Uh, same people own this Nissan Cherry Europe. Of course, you've got Nissan here. But in here, Alfa Romeo. And being Alfa Romeo, it um, seems to be having starting problems. Talking of starting problems, here's the mighty Dacia. Um, here's a beige Metro, which is splendid. And uh, a lovely Datsun, sorry, Nissan Sunny. Um, a Nissan Primera. When did you last see a P10 Primera? P10 is the first generation of Primera. That's a later facelift one, I think. The only one I've driven was also a P Reg, it was a blue SRI. Um, obligatory Rover um, 75. Oh wow, I like the fact it's got a breakdown note on it. Apologies. Uh, apologies for this is Fira. Alfa Romeo 156 is quite nice. Uh, we've got a Volvo obligatory. Um, we've got two three wheelers because took us a friend. It's a Reliant Regal, which I think is a Mark 5. Or it might be a Mark 6 with our roof. Um, absolutely splendid. So yeah, we, we got little three wheeled friends. Let's have a sneaky peek inside the Reliant. And um, yeah, we, we're just having a social. It's really nice. There's a Jaguar XJ over there, along with a modern Jaguar. Uh, this was in the Shite Fest video briefly, it, and I uh, apologise because I keep calling it a GTI, but qu quite clearly a GSI. My mistake. Uh, Maxi was at the show. This wasn't at the show. This is a mighty fine Anglia van. Um, not, not entirely standard. And um, we've got a Triumph Test there and a Rover, another Rover 400. Uh, it's all rather splendid. And now I think we're going to muck about with um, diggers. No, because that's not... Well, Near vaults, Captain! Oh, I missed it! I am driving the noisiest thing in the world! It's a JCB with a pantograph wiper. It has no brakes. It has a hand throttle. It has various hydraulic devices. I've got a very big field to play in, thankfully. So other people are having a go in Tuk, but Tuk's been chased by a Volvo. He's broken my Invercar. What's he done to it? Poor Tuk. Yeah. What have you done to it? Oh. He has broken it. Oh dear. I hope it just slipped out of gear. Oh, it probably has, yeah. Yeah, I just, I was just coming along here and all of a sudden Vroom. the went up and it started slowing down. Yeah, I know exactly what that is. That's, that's the bungee cord. Ah, yes, I forgot about the bungee cord. Yes. There he goes, took for another go. Now she's back in gear. Come 
Go talk, go talk. <laughs> yeah, don't corner so quickly on the bends. He's learned that one. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? Oh, yes. Excellent. So I'll take the Dacia and you take this, yeah? <laughs> Not sure. Not sure, oh. <laughs> And now it's time to say goodbye. And we, yeah, we, we wonder whether the Cherry Europe will start. Yay! The Nissan Cherry Europe, built in Italy with an Alfa Romeo engine. One day I'll try and do a video on it. There just hasn't been time today. We've been having too much fun. And the Prairie starts up as well. The um, Nissan Sunny is about to depart, uh, everyone is going. It's day two at the Field of Dreams, where we're mucking about with old tractors. Claire's having a razzabout on that one at the moment. And um, the delightful Anglia van is still here. There's a Maxi, there will be a video on said Maxi. And uh, there is this Seat 1500 hearse as well. Uh, this was a festival of the unexceptional yesterday and I really didn't get to check it out very much at all. But um, yeah, quite amazing. Sadly the Perspex rear window is starting to suffer a bit. But what a fantastic motor vehicle. Just take you in for a look at the marvellous dashboard. Complete with all of its Spanishness. Utterly marvellous. And Tuki's still here with all her many, many friends and admirers. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and work out how to do a video on this, but there we go. Matty Ferguson. Oh, first challenge is getting onto it. Oh, oh. There we go. Right, here we go then. We are driving a tractor. So let's go through tractor controls. We've got the throttle is that one there. So that makes me go faster. We've got brakes down here, but I don't think they really do much. We've got the wheels going round right next to me, which is slightly weird. As a nice early 80s Range Rover arrives, um, a Seat 1500 hearse is leaving. Chap went and collected that from Spain and drove it back the entire length of France, which is pretty darn heroic. Now back off to Somerset. Oh no, Hairnet's having to go on the tractor, run away, be very afraid. Yeah. Hairnet prefers, prefers to do it backwards. Well, we're now heading back to um, Wales. Uh, the belts are still squealing quite a lot of times. Oh, car on his narrow track road. There we go. Disaster averted. Uh, it's 168 miles to home. It reckons it'll take just over four hours, but I will be having plenty of stops as I did on the way here. That door is rattling more than it did. Might need to adjust the striker. But it's the belts that are causing most concern. Oh, this road is terrible. So um, we shall see how we go. So we've enjoyed Festival of the Unexceptional, some mucking about in what we call the Field of Dreams, and um, now it's time to go home and then rest. We've only travelled a few miles and um, already very noisy. If we could go a bit quicker that would be good because once the gearing locks into its final drive position uh, the belt's quietened down. But the problem is the drive belt is the one that was on the car when I got it. I think it's quite difficult I may even need special tools to fit a new drive belt. I'm going to have to explore because this is not good. Just because the rubber's getting hard, it's not gripping as well as it should. Oh well, only about 162 miles to go. Oh. 
have a rest talk. We've made it to Chipping Norton, which is where Jeremy Clarkson used to live. Um, I'm not sure if he still does. Um, go find some lunch. Hmm, Invercows. No, I'm not even sorry. So we just parked up in um, Chipping Norton, um, went to grab some lunch, um, as I've mostly consumed. I uh, felt a bit bad eating my um, steak flavoured crisps while these cows watched on. They're a bit hot, I'm a bit hot, Tookie's a bit hot, but we're still going. Look at the mileage now, we're up to 29,069 miles. Still got 140 miles to go, so I've only done 28 so far, there's still rather a lot to go. Um, getting a little low on fuel now may have to do something about that perhaps but yeah this is a rather lovely spot I I used to work in Chipping Norton bizarrely um, an insurance company um, about 11 or 12 years ago so um, there you go there's a random fact but yeah the transmission is still horribly horribly noisy I'm just hoping Took is gonna make it back um, I'm using the sat nav even though I know the way because that is the A44 and I can follow that pretty much all the way to where I live, but the sat nav is useful to warn you of um, tight junctions and tight corners because, um, yeah, I'm still not entirely happy with this car's stability, even though I've tried to spread out the, the stuff. Um, so I've got my tool bag there, I've got the oil container there to try and balance the weight a bit, so she's a little bit more stable. But I'm wondering if the problem she's the, the reason she's struggling so much going up hills is because that tired drive belt is dragging. Um, certainly she's not very easy to push around and you expect a 400 kilogram car to be quite easy to push around so yeah not great but anyway I should probably push on so I will do just that oh this is getting bad on the hills 25 miles an hour which is half of the speed limit here downhill and we did indeed hit 65 miles an hour which didn't feel too terrifying to be honest but it was notable that coming down Fish Hill I wasn't having to brake very much so knackered is the drive line so still somewhat concerned decided to stop for a bit of peaceful countryside and look what I found it's the mighty Dacia again. Um, I'll, I'll concede, I had a bit of a tip off, but um, Rich was doing some lawnmower racing today. So, seeing as Tuck's feeling a bit hot and bothered, I might as well come and see what's going on here and see if I can find a cup of tea. Blimey. This is very, very silly. Oh, there's Rich. I can see Rich tinkering with that one down there. Must be having technical issues. I found some even slower vehicles. Um, they're definitely vintage. Hard to tell what they are from back here, but when I was going the other way on Friday, there were a lot of bullnose Morrises going the other way. So I wonder if they're bullnose Morrises. 
We're doing a steady 30 miles an hour. Uh, we're going slightly uphill, so I just haven't got the power to get around me. Uh, I might just settle down to their pace. I wish I could show you, but I forgot to bring beard cam, which is a bit remiss of me. So apologies for that. And I haven't got the little action camera anymore because the sound was terrible, so that went bad. So yeah, I still need to work on my camera gear. And where I've got this mount, which is now glued to the windscreen and won't come off, I can't easily take it off to move it to a different position. If I switch to the other camera, the re rear camera, all you see is the side of the car. Sorry. Well, it looks like I'm um, safe from having to embarrassingly crawl up this hill. Because um, this Morris did a couple of layboys, not interested in pulling over. I mean, he tried waving me through, but he didn't stop. And we're going uphill. And at the moment, I've got no overtaking grunt. To commit to an overtake when people fly along this road. Was indeed a bulldozed forest. Took flying along downhill, uphill not so much. Well, we've made it back to Wales. We're about um, probably 10 miles from home, um, but Tuck's having a rest. And um, I've actually sent out a plea for help um, because with all this stuff in it, it doesn't stand a very good chance of getting over those hills over there, which are between us and home. Uh, as to be said, the left shoulder is starting to give me some serious jip now. So, um, yeah. Starting to feel a little weary, and I'm, I'm sure Tuck's starting to feel a little weary as well. Some epic bug splattage, uh, mightily impressive. Uh, but then, you know, what are old cars for? They're still cars, so the whole point is to use them. Anyway, I shall await the cavalry and try and do some back stretches in the meantime. I don't think that's an official manoeuvre. Well, the cavalry should have been here about 20 minutes ago, so um, stuff this. Um, don't want to lose too much of the um, heat, which um, obviously powers took to um, great power. Um, keep you all circulating, we'll, we'll carry on. And see if we encounter a little nipper on the way. quickly. Centrifugal clutch keeps spinning for a while when you turn it off. Well, let's have a rest. We have jettisoned quite a lot of stuff into the little nipper. So uh, let me practice my hill starts. Yeah, a 
a fair bit of weight for a little car. And now we have another problem. Cows. Rather a lot of cows. Oh, I don't think they're meant to be going that way. Naughty cows. Look, the world's looking like a Microsoft desktop again. It's amazing. I'm quite worried. Cows are quite big. Mrs. Hubnut did not appear as expected. She apparently got held up by a herd of cows. I'll take that as an excuse. And noisily, we have made it. I can see a Reliant Fox. Uh, Nickel will continue to the lower driveway um, because we're so posh. Um, the brake goes on. Oh. oh, I'm not sure I've ever been so glad to be home. So that's about 380 miles covered in three days um, in a car which was designed for wheelchair users to use to help them get around cities. Oh, take the bungee off the gear lever. Oh, that's been quite a trek. And I'm, I'm not lying. Look, look, there is the fox. The fox is still here. I haven't even cleaned it yet because we've had so little water. I haven't felt the need but there you go that's um, uh, the conclusion of uh, that particular adventure uh, thank you very much for watching uh, remember to subscribe t-shirt stickers blah 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 uh, website <laughs>